there are two types of reproductive cycles, the estrous cycle and the menstrual cycle. In this video, we will be discussing the estrous cycle. The estrous cycle is a very dynamic process, and each estrous cycle gives the female the opportunity to become pregnant. The estrous cycle is comprised of two phases, the follicular phase and the luteal phase. The follicular phase makes up about 20% of the estrous cycle. The luteal phase makes up about 80% of the estrous cycle. Figure 7-2 is a graphical representation of the events that occur during the follicular phase and the luteal phase of the estrous cycle. Remember that each estrous cycle begins at estrus and ends with the subsequent estrus. In this figure, day zero represents estrus. Estrus, E-S-T-R-U-S, is the time when the female is receptive to the male. The follicular phase begins during luteolysis and ends at ovulation. During the follicular phase, follicles are growing and developing. As follicles grow, they secrete estrogen. Hence, estrogen is considered to be the dominant hormone during the follicular phase of the estrous cycle. The dominant ovarian structure during the follicular phase is the follicle. The luteal phase begins at ovulation and ends during luteolysis. Following ovulation, the ovulated follicle undergoes a transformation and becomes the corpus luteum. This process is known as luteinization. During the luteal phase, the dominant ovarian structure that is present is the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum is the structure that is secreting progesterone. Hence, progesterone is the dominant hormone present during the luteal phase. Figure 7-3 is a graphic representation of the four stages that are present within the estrous cycle. The estrous cycle is comprised of four stages, proestrous, estrous, metestrous, and diestrous. Proestrous and diestrous are part of the follicular phase of the estrous cycle. Metestrous and diestrous are part of the luteal phase of the estrous cycle. Proestrous is the period between the time the corpus luteum regresses and the onset of estrus. Depending on the species, an animal can spend can um, can be in proestrous anywhere from two to five days. During proestrus, the developing follicles are secreting estradiol, and a select number of these follicles are then recruited for ovulation. Estrus is the time when the female is receptive to the male. In other words, this is the time when the female is willing to mate with the, with the male. During estrus, the female will display several behavioral changes. Many females will stand to be mounted. Other females will arch their backs, such as queens. They, the arching of the back is known as lordosis. The dominant hormone that is being secreted during estrus is estrogen. It is estrogen that is causing the behavioral changes that are occurring within the female. Estrogen is also going to be causing physiological changes within the reproductive tract of the female. 
I do want to clarify that there are three types of estrogens that occur in the body. Estrone, also known as E1, estradiol, also known as E2, and estriol, also known as E3. The primary hormone that we will be talking about throughout this semester is estradiol, E2. However, I use the terms estrogen and estradiol interchangeably. Table 7.1 shows some characteristics that are associated with the estrocycles in domestic species. However, I want to focus your attention to the column shown in red. Note that, time that, that the time that a female exhibits estrus differs among species. Alpacas, for example, will display estrus from anywhere to four to five days. A cow, however, will only display estrus anywhere from six to 24 hours. And a mare will display estrus for anywhere between two to 12 days. Metestrus is the period between ovulation and the formation of the corpus luteum. During early metestrus, the levels of both estrogen and progesterone are low. During this time, the ovulated follicle is undergoing the transformation to become the corpus luteum. The process of luteinization is occurring. I do want to make sure that you keep your terminology straight. Luteinization is the time when the ovulated follicle becomes the corpus luteum. Luteolysis, however, is the regression of the corpus luteum. Diestrus is the longest stage of the estrus cycle. This is the time when the corpus luteum is secreting sustained levels of progesterone. Diestrus ends when the corpus luteum regresses. And again, the dominant hormone that is being secreted during diestrus is progesterone. Please make sure to study figures 7, 2, and 7, 3 carefully. I thank you for your attention. Bye.